Charities like the Food Bank for New York and the Salvation Army couldn't do what they do without the help of volunteers. Here to tell us about the importance of giving back through volunteer work is Amarillis Perez. She's the Teen Center Director for the Education Alliance and Patricia Warsnip, volunteer teacher with the Fortune Society. Welcome both of you. Thank you. Amarillis, so how did you get how did you decide to get involved and, and to help found this teen center? So I grew up in New York City and I'm really aware of a lot of the issues that adolescents are facing issues of dropping out of high school, gang violence, teen yes. pregnancy, and they really need support. So we created this teen program where teens can really succeed, a place where they can be supported by role models and adults that really care about them. And it went from having 40 students to 400 students That's just at four our years, teen right? center. Yes, yeah. and at the Education Alliance, we really support our students in succeeding in life. Where do they come from, the students that come They to come from side? the Lower East Side mainly, but from all over the city in Manhattan, and they really need a place to grow and that's what we provide for them you know I'm just I'm curious about why you I know you have a lot of peers a lot of yes. friends who, who couldn't be bothered they're in their, <laughs> their own little worlds they're doing they're listening to music they're you know they're thinking about boys why did you decide that you wanted to kind of step outside that and and help other people so my family immigrated here from the Dominican Republic um, and they've been here for a long time but they really wanted to come here to give us a better life and I learned from my parents that if you give forward you will receive back and I wanted to give forward I learned a lot from people who were role models to me when I was an adolescent and I realized it was a crossroads in my life that moment so if I could intervene during the crossroads of an adolescent's life and make it so that they become responsible adults that would be the best that I could do that's a fabulous answer thank, thank you, you. And, and Patricia let me ask you the same question. What was it that made you decide that you wanted to become a teacher for the Fortune Society? Uh, I came from England. I've been here for um, a couple of years and I have a background in education. I really wanted to be part of something, something bigger than myself. And I think like um, every volunteer says that uh, whatever you give, you give back, you get back uh -huh. uh, far more. It's very much a two-way street. And um, I looked around at various organizations. I found Fortune, it seemed a great fit. It's a wonderful organization. And, and I think that's really important in volunteering, just to find a place that's a, uh -huh. good, a good match for you as well. Why did it appeal to you? Um, there's a, there's a real need for people who are coming out of, um, out of jail, out of prison, um, to rebuild their lives in society. And uh, the other aspect of it is that uh, the society itself, the community, needs these people. Um, people think, oh, crime, it's nothing to do with us. Uh, these people have come out of jail. Um, but um, helping them to settle back into society, to rebuild their lives, um, to take part in communities themselves helps all communities to be safer and so it benefits all around. Well listen, uh, Patricia and Amaryllis, I, our communities are safer and better because of your efforts. You. Volunteers do wonderful work and you're two wonderful examples. Thank you so Thank much. you for everything you do and for coming in here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. We've seen some actual wonderful examples that you've just seen of people giving tonight and on the other end are those who receive the benefits of that giving, like the kids at one Brooklyn grade school who are learning to eat their